what's going on everyone my name is chris i'm here with kathy we go by ginger marvin on instagram and youtube and we have another video for you today it is a nice warm and toasty day today up here in the loft and we're gonna get pulling some sales so i'm gonna turn it over to kathy so we can get picking that stuff hello all right we're starting in box ai and this is over the last two days right we didn't yeah. ship yesterday the kids went swimming with grandma. Yeah. Oh, I, I took them. To some work here. Yeah, Kathy got some. You can't tell because it looks messier <laughs> than the other day where we just cleaned it all up. Hey, it's progress, huh? So. Huh, you meatball. I kind of like the two day shipping though. Like, I mean, obviously, I still like shipping every day, but. Yeah. It's like I don't like making people wait, but I like not having to feel rushed because it always right. feels like a rush no matter how hard we try. Yeah. Anyhow, first sale was these Adidas Kids Wrestling Shoes. I actually, a friend gave these to us, like a whole bag of clothes, so these were free to me. I sold them for $15.73 plus shipping, mainly because the heels are peeling up slightly, and then like the elastic tops are like stretched out. So okay. anyways, all profit minus the eBay fee, so not bad. Let's grab our pulleys. A, B, some prana pants. Three years old. <laughs> I like when he's got his nose all gr grabbed up in his claws. I feel like he's asleep. Oh, we got a visitor. But with his eyes open. <laughs> Hopefully that's the last interruption. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Probably won't be. <laughs> all right. Uh, prana men's like pants. Bought for ten twenty seven. That must have been my average cost of goods that day. So for 31 with discount shipping. So a little more than doubling my money there. Oops. We'll do a Tyvek mailer, because it's Poshmark. Okay, and then BI down here. Okay. Uh, so this Whistle and Flute Kids Rainbow Tink Top. I bought this for 10.51. I actually bought seven a lot of seven of like this brand tank tops for my son to wear this summer. Um, I just pulled this one out the other day because he hasn't worn it yet and there's only a couple more weeks of summer left. So right. anyways, my average cost was 10.51, like whatever that came out to be, $70 for the mall or something. Anyways, I sold this one for 17 plus shipping the warmer car. So I'm hey. actually making a little profit even though I bought the lot to yeah. wear. All right, let's do another. Ice cream truck mailer. If my fingers would work. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Box Y. This one I probably could have sold for more, but I got it at the bin, so I'm just like, I'll take the offer. Um, these are Travis Matthew. It's like a golf brand for men. I don't know if they make women's stuff. I don't think so. Hmm. Let me know if you if they do. <laughs> um, anyways, yeah. So these are just like a stretchy golf pant. Bought for a dollar thirty-seven. Sold for twenty. Um, probably could have got thirty to thirty-five if I waited it out. But yeah. I'll take the profit now. Yeah. So I had those sold on Posh. So we'll do Tyvek again. Might as well leave that there. <laughs> uh, CT is over here. Nike baseball pants we just showed in our recent haul. Sold for $24.03 plus shipping on eBay, and I bought those for $4.89. Yeah. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> Ooh, oh, that's lucky. Oh, it's already there. <laughs> I already shoved these in here. Yeah, I have three pairs of these. They're all different sizes, but almost the same. So I triple checked that this was the correct size. And then the buyer lived in Pennsylvania, so that's far, so shipping's high. Yeah. Plus these are over two pounds, so it would have been like fourteen fifty-eight, I think, to ship them regular, like in a box or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I shoved them in here and I don't want to take them out, but yeah, it's the brand Key Imperial. It's just like men's denim overalls. Right. Picked up at a garage sale for three dollars, sold for this pair for thirty-one plus shipping in just a few days, so not bad. Yeah, I remember we got those on a day. We recorded a bunch of garage sales that we went to, but they were just not yeah. 
I don't know. It wasn't that, great content. That one sale was good, but everything yeah. else wasn't. And it just, like, we didn't film enough of, like, stuff to actually show you guys. Right. So we never showed you. <laughs> <But> so <laughs> we just good. scrapped them, unfortunately. Film. But, yeah, found some good profit on those key Imperial pants. But yeah. you can't make a whole video for having some, you know, just a few cool pants, right? <laughs> Uh, I did buy these Vionic sandals for $7.99, and our viewer Mimi, who actually bought another pair of Vionics from us recently, bought these as well. So $31.50 plus shipping. Awesome. Mimi, thank you so much for the, all that support. Oh, yes. Strawberry mailer. All right. And then CN Skechers. We're selling a lot of the new shoes that we just got. Um, so these are just some Skechers flats. Bought for $9.99, sold for $31 plus shipping. Okay. Those sold, I believe, on eBay. They are over a pound. They're not going to fit in a normal size mailer. Um, let's just do a doggy. I have the florals, but those are like even bigger than these. Yeah. So I don't like using them unless I need them that big. Okay. Yes. Yeah, those big poly mailer bags can actually get quite heavy and even bump yeah. you up into the next bracket of shipping, right? So yeah. we try to have a good <laughs> variety. I only bought like 50 of them and I try to like just <laughs> save them for when I actually need them. These yeah. are really large. Those yeah. are shipping hip. No, these are magical these are. mailers. These are magical mailers. But right. shipping hip, I believe, has a size similar to this. I just don't use them a ton, so like I buy a 50 pack and use it until it's all gone. Right. Eight, but yeah, I was wrong. That was not the last interruption. <laughs> we just had another. So it's all good. Yeah, school's almost back in, and Three weeks I, from the, yesterday, the kids, the kids, so. uh, they're reaching that point of like, yeah, yeah, they're ready to be back at school. We were thinking they were gonna play with the neighbor kids all the time, and they do fairly often, but not as much as right. I thought that they might. So it's just like, <laughs> like right now, the neighbors are probably out there playing, but they're in their rooms fighting with each other for who knows what reason. Yeah. All right, uh, these are a men's 511 tactical jeans. Picked these up at a garage sale for five, sold for 30 plus shipping. Pretty mail, yeah, these are going in a pot of flat rate. Okay, and then box. This is a U. <laughs> <laughs> It's childhood hoodie. Uh, this was my son's. I don't remember what I bought it for, but I sold it for $31.50 free ship on Kitizen. And I believe there are a viewer. I don't know if it's Rena or Reina, but thank you so much. Hey. You didn't leave a message, but I feel like I have seen your name in the past. And so, yes. Okay. If you're not a viewer, you'll never see this. And if you are, <laughs> thank you so much. Rena, Reina, <laughs> thank you so much for that support if you do happen to be watching. Yeah. Yes, and if you are watching, please let me know how yeah. how we say your name correctly for next time. All right, so we'll another pair of these Bufos that we didn't bag. Oh, right. Because they'd all sell fairly quickly. So, so far, two out of the, what, six, five? Two out of five sold in just like two days now. Okay. Uh, these ones, yeah, so paid 29 This pair sold for fifty six forty plus ship. I still profited very close to $17 on those. And they're under a pound, so I'm gonna go out in a doggy mailer. Alrighty, AW. Look at this guy, already out of his bed. Ooh, here's about to pick up the odd enough. Oh, hey. Yeah, we were just putting a bunch of shoes away <laughs> and having trouble finding space, even though in our last video we pulled 30 items out. Yeah, I actually hit 1,200 listings last night, I think. Yeah. Which is the most we've had in a very long time. Yeah. I think we really need to get that that sales schedule structure yeah. that we've been talking about I for so long. That going. We need to get that going like this week or next week. We just need to sit down and do yeah. it. Until we have a bigger space, we can't really push the limits right. too much. Yeah. Uh, these are going in a pad of flat rate, but they are Tao's brand. And these sold for $49.95 plus shipping. I bought for $10.99. I like that brand. I don't feel like a lot of people know about it. I don't like it for myself. I've never worn it, but mm -hmm. I like picking it up to sell because it seems to sell well. Okay, D O was that in my closet? Yep. yep. Which, hey, we've kind of organized a little bit in here. 
you'll notice, well, we used to have a bunch of uh, cardboard, like spare boxes here. And, sorry. Did you stop rustling that plastic? Uh. <laughs> so yeah, we had, uh, <laughs> we had all of our spare cardboard boxes up against this wall here. And it just kind of got out of hand. We just don't use the huge box. Those are like the big, big boxes. Right. And we mostly sell clothes and shoes. Occasionally you'll see us sell something bigger, but right. we already kind of know what we're packing that in usually when we list it and then keep it in there. So we're saving these boxes that were here, but they're just out in the trailer now instead yeah. of right here in our space every day. So Yeah, and we're trying to go to this system. So each one of these bins is basically a day's worth yeah. of listing. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to kind of pre, <laughs> pre-game? I don't know, pre-set yeah, things just up. just so that there's not stuff everywhere and that like, okay, I know oh, tomorrow I grab a bin and yeah. that's what I'm working on. And right. when it's done, it's done. It's Yeah, it's good. It's a good, like, yeah. this is enough work for the day. And if I have time, you know, when our kids are back in school, I would like to get at least one day ahead on everything. Right. So if it only takes me an hour or two to do my one day's work, maybe I can get ahead, but it's yeah. not a nest. At least I can tell my brain, like, okay, that's enough for today. Right. Or... And that kind of, that's um, part of why all these bins are here. Yeah, we have some extras. That <laughs> bin of clothes I need to separate into. Yeah. Yeah. So that's going to be divided in bins of basically per day yeah. kind of thing. And we're just going to try to cycle that for a little bit, see how it works. Yeah. So anybody out there use <laughs> something similar? Yeah, I mean, because recently, like our car will be having yeah. goodwill bags for days in it. And like, I just want to bring it straight in, put it in a bin. Yeah. And pull it out whatever day. Yeah. I know I, I personally work way better when I know what my end point is. Yeah, that's... I, I need to. <laughs> I want to. I think you would too. I, I, yeah. Ka Kathy can work I'll just till two o'clock in the morning and like, just. I like it. Right. <laughs> so right. it's hard to stop. But you need a good. You need yeah. to like tell yourself, okay, I'm done. <laughs> so right. I think this is going to be good for both of us. Right. So let us know Let's what you guys think. How much we get yeah. done in a day? Yeah, that reminded me. I also bought these for myself because I'm, I'm just bad at. It's not like a secret. I'm just bad at like. <laughs> planning my day yeah <laughs> so this is just like something i bought off amazon just like a little note papers you could print these up yourself i'm sure right. or use you a don't even, phone yeah. yeah the reason i didn't want to do it on my phone is because i have tried to make lists and mm -hmm. lists and stuff once i open my phone i'm distracted by every other yeah. thing on my phone you get one drop down so notification like, and I, I like old school pen and paper and just doing yeah. it so this is a scheduled to-do list water intake which is something we've been working on anyways mm -hmm. trying to I Tree, mean, you yeah. know, eight, eight, eight ounces is not even enough. Probably, like, we're probably going to do, like, 100 ounces of water a day. Yeah. Health and fitness, you know, we did join a gym this last month, and we want to start making that part of our daily routines, yeah. especially when the kids are in school. We've been going just doing swimming right now with them. Yeah. But when they're in school, we'll do more of just normal workout right. stuff for ourselves. And, yeah, meal prep, that's something else that we're always just, like, like I just ate my lunch before we started this and it's just like two something and yeah I should have ate my lunch at right. one o'clock at the latest probably so the good thing is we at least know that we have a problem right yeah, like we're I trying to we're, we we realize that there's a problem we're trying to make small changes to to small fix it changes everything yeah so that's yeah we we're very bad at time management <laughs> that's yeah. something that we <laughs> talked about for a long time so yeah and i'll probably try to like share that daily planner in my stories i'll have chris link it in our amazon stuff it there's other stuff down there too like yeah. poly mailers well we do shipping hip which we have a code for these kinds of poly mailers i order from amazon sometimes so those should be linked the All clear the bags plastic bags should yeah. be linked just random little tools we use every day so we'll add that if you guys want to do it with me <laughs> you know if you tag me and you're doing it and i'm doing it i'll share your story yeah and, just network help motivate right. each other so, too yeah. yeah so cool anyhow so these Abercrombie <laughs> kids jeans for my full list price which was 24.95 plus shipping not too bad yeah um, those were my sons i guarantee i didn't pay 25 for them so i probably am making a little bit of money there and he got to wear them okay a b oh reesey you're not not in ba i won't wake him the poor baby Even he's he's <laughs> opening his eyes a little bit. 
All right, these are Javiana's, or however you say that, flip-flops, bought at the bins, $1.37 cost of goods, sold for $20 on Poshmark. Those, those are weird, <laughs> what box, or like, we could use any box, it's just like they're weird, they're kind of small, but also like, I don't know, do you think they fit in a pad of butter? Sometimes I'm just weird and can't decide what to ship. <laughs> I can ship it in anything I want. I just don't like it to be too big or right. whatever. For we them. try to be as considerate as possible with what we have. So, so poly or a uh, bubble mailer. They fit in the pad of fire right? Okay, CT. Sauna. Swim trunks. These ones bought for $7.99. I thought I bought them for $5.99, and so I accepted a $20 offer. I probably still would have accepted. But in my head, I was like, oh, that'll be about a $10 profit, which is what I like to make. Mm -hmm. And it's more like an $8 profit, so about doubling my money. <laughs> so not too bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like some chunks are going to go start selling a little bit slower now. So right. let's do a mailing. Okay, and last the CM. Are some silver brand jeans, Suki jeans, bought for five dollars, sold for twenty with this. Uh, was it discount shipping? I feel like this one was like a full price because I think I had sent this person an offer previously. She did not accept and then came back and just offered the same, but then she didn't get the shipping discount. So mm -hmm. let's just triple check so I'm not <laughs> lying to you. Nope, it was discount shipping. So okay. Yeah, so five into 20 with discount. Said I made 14 28 so about a $9 and some change profit. Okay. That was on Poshmark, so probably just another tie back. Sweet. Oh, easy shipping, day. Yeah, so again, that is two days worth. So we're gonna go ahead and get it packed up and then we'll check back in in a few minutes. All right, got everything all packed up, and we, yeah, we just realized that there was no boxes. <laughs> it was all it, it, mailers. It should all fit in one IKEA bag to the post yeah, office. Yeah, makes today. an easy drop off for sure. Yeah, and we were doing some other stuff this morning, <laughs> and we just happened. We just wanted to share with you guys. <laughs> we just got our tickets to FlipCon, so we've got what? We got our tickets booked, and we got some flights booked, right? That's it so far. Other than that, we just need a hotel rate. Right? So yeah, and I think we're just staying at the hotel. That yeah. We're at, so that should be easy. We'll book that tonight. That way, we don't have to rent a car or anything like that. Oh. And be I around still everybody. want a car to just explore. We don't yeah, want to leave. True. Colorado that often without our children. <laughs> yeah, this will be the Grandma's first trip watch in a while. Well, they actually have school when FlipCon's happening, so she'll just need to pick them up and drop them off. Right. Otherwise, it actually kind of works out nicely, so. Yeah? Yeah. So we're excited. Anybody else uh, going to FlipCon? Let us know. Let us know. Um, well, uh, we're excited to meet everybody. <laughs> yeah, every day I see people just posting about it on different you know, on Facebook, on right. Instagram, on different chats. Like if I'm in a YouTube chat, people are like, is anyone going to FlipCon? So right. It seems like a lot of hype right now. Right. So I'm excited and yeah, hope to see you guys there. <laughs> I think um, I saw that Harry Tornado Josh put an Instagram post today, which you won't see this video probably for a week or so, but that they had like a hundred or so tickets left. We've been planning to go. Right. It was just like we needed to... I like to wait till it gets closer. Right. Just Iron things down with, with my mom who's going to be watching them. Yeah. So. Which, she's not a babysitter. She's no. a grandma. <laughs> grandma. But, but she does sure work. that it works, right. yeah. She's a working grandma. She works like 80 hours a week, so she's... To me, the worst thing would be paying $600 for flip con tickets and then $600 on flights and not getting to go, so... Right. <laughs> That Anyways, would suck. Other than that, I have been keeping up on my board so you far. Go over you got to step over this meatball right hey, here. You. Hey, you. He is seriously a snake. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this week, actually, I've been doing a lot of shoes. And, like, this day was, like, a lot of high-dollar shoes, although I did pay. That was a lot of retail for, arbitrage there, right? Yeah, so, like, boots that I'm selling for, like, 150 I bought for, like, around 50 mm -hmm. So, I did pay more, but obviously the listings are more, and the profit will be higher when they sell. Right. Um, but, yeah, just shoes. This is why I like shoes. My numbers are usually higher on the days that I do shoes. Today was just, like, fairly normal shoes. Like, the 
thirty forty dollar range. Yeah. My fifteen, with a couple higher, put me at six ninety. Well, I always forget the number that I have to be. To, is it like five twenty? Per day. Not have to, but yeah. So five seventy one is the. So four thousand per yeah. week listed divided by seven days in the week comes out to five seventy one listed per day. So. So probably so five seventy five. Yeah, yeah, that's a good number to so remember. So this is going to be an easy week if I can keep up, which I can, because you saw we already have our shoes in the closet for the next four days of listings ready to process. Like yeah, they're already ready. So. And we're trying to keep up. We got everything that yeah. is listed, <laughs> bagged, and inventoried, right? So we're. Yeah. We did have these two pairs of shoes. Did you want to talk about those? These. So these are Doug Martens. I bought them for ten ninety nine each. I don't usually do the smell test or anything at the thrift store. Right. If it like, I hold them like like this, you yeah. know. So I would think I'd smell something if it was super strong. Right. So it's not super strong, but uh, they do have like a smoke smell to them. Yeah, cigarette smoke. Which stinks, but I'm still probably gonna listen because I don't want to lose twenty two bucks. Yeah. I'll just disclose that they smell like smoke. I feel like a lot of people that wear Doc Martens are like concert goers, stuff like that. Yeah. And possibly already smoke anyways. So. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna there's a good it, chance that they'll sell yeah, and, and we'll do a discounted sell. price. Either, yeah, I'm not worried about them not selling. I'm yeah. just worried about the person not reading. So I'll right. probably put the title like bold smells like smoke or right. something just to be super honest. At this point, I'll probably just hope to break. If any, if you guys want them, I'll sell them to you just to like break even on my 1099. Right. Which would mean you'd have to pay like closer to 20 plus shipping. But yeah, if yeah. not, I know that they'll sell. Um, yeah. I just am like, where do I want to store them? Because I don't want them right. to smell up anything else. Yeah, we're kind of hesitant to bag them like we do everything else because that might just exacerbate it. For days. I've set them in the freezer and they still smell. So those are the two tricks that I know of. Right. Um, and at this point, we just basically yeah. want to get our money out. I hear out. people say like spray vodka or something on them. Yeah, like, maybe like a distilled vinegar I don't or something. I really want to do that. So <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to list them. Yeah. So yeah, that's aside from those two shoes, everything that we have listed. Well, those aren't even listed, right? So they're not listed yet. Um, everything that we're working on is kind of in that new kind of process that we're we're testing out. I think it's going to work out um, if we can do it. I just yeah. <laughs> I get bored of doing things the same after a while, so. <laughs> no way. <laughs> but if I realize how much extra time it'll give me and just right. better time to do things, like, I think, I think just, that that daily planner thing just going to help me realize, yeah. like, okay, I'm probably going to set timers on my phone, too, mm -hmm. so that I at least I'm like, okay, this should have only taken me an hour. If my hour's up, like, where am I at and how long? Yeah. Why is it taking longer? Did I get distracted by the phone? Mm hmm you know what I mean? Yeah, I like so. the bends because it kind of just takes all the guesswork out of it, yeah. too. It's like, okay, this is my task. Yeah. And I have to just get it done. The faster I get it done, the faster I can uh, go watch TikTok or whatever, right? So, <laughs> that's <laughs> if that's your motivation. Really do anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think, uh, I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for the amazing support from our viewers who made purchases today. We do appreciate all of that. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.